So I've received this package from a very special company here in the UK. Harrison and Harrison. And what is in here? Hello and welcome to Beauty and Sound HQ. You join me today in my studio where everything is brought together and uploaded to YouTube. Thank you for popping by. You've timed it really well actually because I'm in the final steps of putting together the um, stops for Renatus. Colin Peacock got in touch just yesterday uh, asking me to put together a final list of stop heads so we can start engraving them. I've been putting this off for a long time, to be honest with you. Um, choosing the stop names is, um, I'm finding it a bit difficult. So I've put together a spreadsheet um, with some really funky and cool formulas. You don't often hear a spreadsheet described as funky or cool, but this really, really is. I'm going to take you through how I've done it. But also, we need to just um, condense the number of stops a little bit more. All the organs that I use uh, total to nearly 600 individual stops. Clearly, we can't have 600 stops. That would be absurd. Um, we have uh, 130 on here at the minute. So how do we get from 600 to 130? Well, this is what this spreadsheet is for. So let's dive into this uh, funky and cool spreadsheet and you can help me um, in the final steps. Holy moly, that's hot. How on earth are we going to get from 600 stops to a more manageable 130, which is how many stops are on the new organ? Well, I hope you're sitting very comfortably because um, I'm going to show you this really cool spreadsheet. I'm going to take you through the steps and we also need to just bring that number down even further so you can help me choose uh, which stops we can live without. Clearly, the first thing we had to do uh, was to list all of the stops, every single stop across all of the organs that I want to use on the new organ. List them all. That's how we got to that huge number of um, very, very nearly to 600. Colin wants to know, um, from Renatus, he wants to know um, the exact stop names and he wants to know how many of those stop names he needs to engrave and produce. So the list was then condensed, removing uh, duplications like uh, diapason 8, uh, a flute 4, trombone 16. I only needed to have it listed once um, with a number of how many times uh, it needs to be created. So take out any duplication um, from that big list was the first step. Next step um, was to create a um, an alternative sort of stop name column, if you like, because there are some stops um, like, um, let's have a look on here, uh, carry on uh, three, which is a three rank uh, mixture. Very few organs have a stop um, specifically called that. That organ is from Caen. I've listed uh, the organ over here in column G as well. But most organs do have a mixture of some sort. A mixture is just a very generic uh, stop name, a mixture of three ranks. Can I live with carry on being called mixture? Yes, I can. So in this column C, alternative stop name, um, we have a very simple data validation uh, list going on here, um, which takes us to, if we bring it up, the source. So creating a list of all of the stops, the original stops without the duplication. So we have a list here of all of the potential stops that we could have. And the idea here is to go through every single stop and find the more commonly used name like mixture. Next one down, for example, is a Borden 16. 
Now that's the original stop. A Borden is actually a very commonly used stop name here in England uh, and in France and actually all over the world. So it makes sense to uh, retain that particular one. So going down this list in column C, um, finding out the, the common ones and removing the, the very sort of quirky, uh, uncommon ones. Unless it's a particular stop that I like and on a particular organ that I really like as well. Um, I will be using um, common uh, stop names. So for Quint, 16 foot, um, a flute, a, a flute transverse becomes just a flute eight foot. A uh, clarinet um, spelled in a slightly um, non-English way becomes standardized to clarinet, that sort of thing. It just helps uh, standardize the list. Okay, but then we just have a list of alternative stop names that doesn't help Colin at all. How many mixture uh, with three ranks does he need to produce for me? Well, that's, that's this is the bit where a lot of the old head scratching happened and thinking happened. Let's go back to this stops tab. So next column along um, I had to create was um, how many times are these stops being used? How many times is a Bazooin 32 foot being used? Incredibly, it's three. <laughs> so Rotterdam, we all know it's been used at Rotterdam, uh, Harlem and Groningen. Uh, actually, that's an extension. That's an artificial 32 foot, isn't it? Regardless, uh, it's been used three times in total across the fleet. How do we get that number? Well, that's a very simple, funky formula here. It's uh, count if, which basically means it's going to count uh, across a specified range how many times um, something occurs, right? So let's have a look here in this formula here. Uh, organs, so that's the, that's the organs tab, um, column C, which is this tab here, alternative stop name, this is what I did manually, remember? How many times does B12 occur? What's B12? Well, B12 is Bazoin 32, so it's looking for all instances of Bazoin 32 in my alternative stop names, and it's come back with three, a relatively straightforward formula, but there aren't many organs with three Bazoin 32 foots on it. Therefore, Colin does not need to make me three of those stop names. Most organs will have one. <laughs> so, okay, how on earth do I determine uh, what is the maximum number of an individual stop name um, that I need? That's the head scratchy bit. I needed to go through every in organ individually to count um, all of the individual stops on that specific organ, which is where column D comes in. So we started with con. What's, it, what's, what's column D doing? Well, it's going back into, it's got another count if. Uh, it's going to organs, um, which is the other tab. And it's going down to from C3 to uh, C57. So that's C3, that's the very top to C57, which is there. That's the final organ of corn, sorry, the final stop on corn before we get into Gurlitz. So in that specified range, it's looking for all instances of B12, Bazoin 32. Now we know that the organ of corn does not have a Bazoin 32 foot. So it's going to bring back zero, yes. Going along the columns here, Rotterdam, Nancy, Harlem, etc., etc., it's doing the same thing. It's looking against all of those organs for instances of that particular stop. If we go, go down one row uh, into row 13, that's looking for in instances of bells. <laughs> now that one is actually uh, from uh, Alessandria. I'm, I'm renaming it from its original um, Italian name to bells to make it a bit more uh, standardized. And all of these rows are being uh, searched against each organ, which is how we get these numbers here. But that's only part of the puzzle. Again, so we don't need to have three, um, just because Korn has uh, three uh, Bombard 16s, 
doesn't necessarily mean that you need to have three because there might be uh, not say might have five bombard 16s we don't know so we need to just go across the whole row either manually which would be very tedious to find the highest number because I'm only going to have one organ loaded at a time right or can we find some cool um, formula to do it for us well of course we can this is Excel Excel can do anything if you ask Google <laughs> so this is where this column M comes in number required X come back with three so what is what is column M doing well it's got it's got an, an equals uh, a max formula so this is looking for the maximum number across a specified range so it's looking for uh, from Caen which is uh, row D here through to uh, Alessandria, which is uh, row L. Uh, the highest number in that range is three, isn't it? So Gerlitz, uh, Nancy, Nancy does have three, uh, and Caen all have three. So we, we, the highest number there is three. Therefore, we only need to ask Colin to have uh, three engravements of Bombard 16. Aha! So we can go across all of these stops and find the highest number um, and come back with the um, number required for each individual stop. Pretty cool stuff, isn't it? So where are we at to? All we, what we can do now is, if we just imagine that this row M is, uh, the, is the number required for each stop, we can actually calculate how many stops we need. So I've removed all instances of zero. Clearly, that's we're going to disregard those. And it's come back with 227. That's definitely uh, an improvement from nearly 600. But it's still quite a high number. Now, there are two stops that um, I think that you and I should go through together. Um, Prestance versus principles is essentially the same thing. Or uh, trumpets trumpets and trumpets it's quite awkward to say actually trumpet trumpet and trumpet <laughs> i'll show you on the screen it's much easier but let's start with the um uh, principles and prey stance i think what we can do is uh, have either one or the other so if we go to my alternative stop name uh, column and let's filter um, only against principles and precedents. So click, 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 click and click. There we go. Actually quite a lot there, aren't there? What we can do is, I think, standardize these to one or the other. You can see here actually uh, in Nancy, uh, contrabass on the uh, pedal, I've already uh, use an alternative stop name as a principle, the same sort of thing, more commonly used. So let's let's um, let's see. We need to decide which one to use. So let's go back to the main stops tab and see how many stops um, for each are being currently used. Here they are. Here they all are. So let's have a look across them. So these are the prey stamps. There are 22 instances of those and 25 instances of principles. And actually, my heart was going towards principle. I think most organs have, um, that I can visualize and remember, stops having principles. I mean, an organ like uh, Rotterdam, for example, it is just full of prey stamps. But, you know, other organs, English organs, have principles. Nancy has a lot of principles on the, um, on the Bombard division. An eight, four, and a two, quite big principles. So I think we should rename um, these alternative stop names, um, the pre stance to principles. And a very simple way to do that is just go to, if I just copy uh, pre stance four foot, do a control F, replace uh, find all prey stand four and I don't, I don't want to replace it with 32 that would be daft and replace all 
uh, it's come back with six replacements. There we go. So I can just do that with them all. So you'll see me do this in record time. There we go. In theory, now all of the phrase stunts are now printables. If we go back to the original stops tab and look against phrase stunts, cool and funky, it's saying it, there are no instances of those particular stops. I love it when things go right. It's just amazing. Okay, so we can now filter out those. Um, okay, so we can get rid of those. Let's see how many stops uh, that's taken us down to. 222, it's taken us down uh, by a few, not many. Now the other one I mentioned was trumpets, trumpets and trumpets. I'll show you the ones I mean. Uh, so let's reset that filter. Um, let's now filter against those. If we go to T, uh, so trumpet, uh, so trumpet. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, so that's 16, eight foot, I mean, these, these are only eight foot. A trumpet and a trumpet. So now you can see them written down. Okay, so now what does that mean for us here? Most of those are trumpets, we've got some trumpets here and a couple of trumpets there. Now I'm, I've thought about this in advance and I'm quite happy to have uh, the three actually. So trumpets, trumpets and trumpets. <laughs> okay, so I've, I, I have renamed these already. So I'm actually going to put them back now uh, to their, uh, I guess their original um, stop name. Okay, there's a couple of um, stops on here which have come up and you can see that I've actually, um, the Chalamet, for example, uh, at the uh, St. Martini Kirk in Gorongan, it, it, it's a, a trumpety type stop. Similarly with the, uh, uh, the equivalent in Harlem, I've actually put it as a trumpet, something that I'm going to live with. Let's see how many stops now we have bearing in mind we were at 222 a moment ago. What's the number going to be? Is it going to be lower or higher? 223, it's gone up by one. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, right. Well, I might have to live with that, I suppose. Which stop do you think is the most popular stop across all of the organs that I have? Are you correct? Flute forefoot. <laughs> wow, it's actually taken me such a long time to get to this stage, um, but it's a really nice problem to have, if you like, being able to choose um, out of all of these stops. But I want to make sure we do this correctly. I don't want to waste our money I don't want to uh, have some beautifully engraved stops. By the way, I'll show you. Um, I'll show you one of our stops in a minute. I don't want to have any beautifully engraved stops and just never use them because that would be such a shame, wouldn't it? And actually, it would take up um, storage space. So I've received this package from a very special company here in the UK, Harrison and Harrison. And what is in here? A stop head. Aha, that is, that is where the, um, that's where the stop goes in. So the stop, the um, mechanism sits behind here, which you saw on the other Renatus video. And the stop will sit in just like that. It'll be felt, you won't be able to see through there, it'll be felt and it'll be very, um, very nicely done. But it will basically sit like that. 130 of those, not 130 open diapasons, that would be the most boring organ ever. And then what else do we have? Oh, we have also, um, now what does that look like to you? Any golfers amongst you? Yes, there's a golf tee. 
It's not actually a golf tee, but it looks like one. And it is why they are nicknamed a golf tee thumb piston. If you play uh, any Harrison and Harrison organs, or um, a lot of other organs actually, um, you will find these style of pistons. They feel very, very nice indeed. The, the, the sort of the throw um, underneath the underneath each manual. It's I don't know. I'm not sure how far it would be, but it's it feels very nice. Feels very soft and just far enough to have a satisfying um, depth. That will go in there like that. So we'll have a number of uh, pistons underneath each division here. As you can see under the choir, there are eight or eight on each. I don't want any more than eight. I've also got some generals as well. So that's what they will look like under each manual. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. So 223 by the looks of it. I might just have a bit more time looking around this list to see whether we can get that number down to 200, perhaps. Um, over on the right hand side of the screen here, by the way, I've had, um, well, you can see, the Encyclopedia of Organ Stops, a really wonderful website um, for doing this, finding alternative stops, um, appropriate alternative stop names rather than just randomly choosing. Very, very good website and you actually learn quite a lot about um, stops. Well, guys, I hope that you've um, stayed with me um, and I hope that you found that at all interesting. Um, I really, really can't wait to get this together. Now, we are in July. The organ is meant to be arriving here at Beauty and Sound HQ in November. So I think Colin at Renatus is wanting to uh, get cracking with the creation of these stop heads. By the way, um, this stop head is it's, it's all it's one piece. Well, the, the metal will be stuck inside, but this uh, material here is it's one piece. How, we're going to get around the changing of stops between organs by having um, a detachable um, stop head. The, the, the very top of the stop um, will clip off. Um, it's a new thing that Renatus are trying to do. They're innovating. Um, this new idea for me. I've asked, I've asked them to do that and I hope that in the future more Hamptonburg organs will have this feature. We will see it here first. So that's how we're going to be able to switch between open diapason and uh, I don't know, uh, Mont 8 foot for example. The stops um, will, what I will do is, the swell here is quite a big division uh, on on the organ, but if we go to Caen, for example, the swell or the Resi organ only has, how many stops does it have? Um, 16 stops. So if we count from the top, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, that is that many stops there from the top. Uh, from the top. Um, we will have these stops here empty. What, we'll, what we will do, what we are uh, envisaging is having a um, a black or some sort of uh, cap to go on the stops that we're not using just so it uh, blends into the back uh, black background and the couplers at the bottom here so these are the uh, the octaves um, solo to swell those are the pedal couplers solo couplers great couplers choir couplers there they will always be in the same place no matter what organ we're using those couplers will always be in the same place so I don't need to change those, but the, the, um, the speaking stops will start from the top, work uh, down until we uh, run out. This, is, well, this, by the way, was a really hard thing to um, think about and, and to decide what to do. The great division here is quite a big division. Um, there are some divisions, some organs, which have huge, great, or hoofed work or whatever you are, uh, divisions, but yet tiny, choir divisions. Rotterdam, for example, has a relatively small hoofed work, um, but a, a large swell, you know. Um, but, so I, I wanted to be able to, um, I, I, I want to have more space than we need, if you like, so we, we're not limited. I don't want to have 
uh, great stops spilling into the choir division at the bottom or it, it just looks clumsy. I want them all in the same um, column. And I've got a fifth manual here, so five just with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stops there. I don't know many organs that have a fifth manual. I know Rotterdam does. Uh, there aren't many organs though with a fifth manual. And Colin did say if we need to, we could just extend the stops um, down uh, in those areas there. That's where the keyboard um, racks are going to go. By the way, that's why we stopped there originally, because the keyboards are going to go um, in that space there. Well, gosh, I wonder whether anyone's watching at this point. Um, <laughs> I'd be very surprised if anyone's watching. I could say anything right now. We should come up with a, um, a secret passcode for those people who've um, made it this far to leave in the comments. Um, what about cool cat cup or something um, which contains cold coffee <laughs> how about this um, cool cat cup contains cold coffee which it does <laughs> thank you very much everyone for watching this video i hope you're as excited as i am about all of these stops and i really can't wait to share more information about um, the progress of the the new beauty and sound organ with you. I think things are starting to really pick up now. Until the next video, which um, I suspect will be quite soon, um, I will say um, a cheerio and I will stop here. Forget it. Bye everyone. Take care. <laughs>